Welcome back to the workshop. Talking about Puzzle Box 5, talking about making some gears or sprockets or things like that out of wood. My previous video I talked about circular or making circles out of wood and different ways of doing that. I wanted to expand on that and show a better way or a different way of making a circle that doesn't involve the drill bit that I had or that using the coping saw. It's a variation on the coping saw. I actually got it from another YouTube channel, uh, Philip Stevens 007. He is from New Zealand, but uh, at the time of the video, he's living in Colombia. I don't know where he is now. Uh, probably still in that area. He appears to be primarily a puppeteer, but he also does some woodworking. He does not have fancy tools or equipment. He has just basic hand tools. And uh, what he is showing really uh, speaks to me. It's uh, speaking my language. And so... Uh, not just speaking English, I mean the way he's doing the work is really fascinating. And so I actually made a, a gear up here uh, based on his design and his instructions. This is a lot more rough of that, but the same basic idea. And so this is one of mine that I made uh, from that video using that circle tool. I actually made three, a small and two large, and glued them all together to make a pulley system. And there, you can't see it on the back of this. There's a knob, and so this is all just theoretical, just trying things out, but as you turn the knob, you might lift, say, a weight or something like that, you know, and just experimenting with what this can do, you know, if you run these through here, who knows? All experimentation, all still learning, that's the great thing about hobby woodworking is uh, you may not have that engineering mind, but you can still make some stuff. There's a lot of videos out there on how to make gears, things like that, out of wood that involve um, table saws, band saws, drill press, fancy uh, layouts. And they are great videos, but there are people like me who don't have those machines and can't do that. And so this um, Philip Stevens 007, he's got, um, he's just using some basic hand tools, um, saw, drill, that sort of thing files and he was able to make things that look better than this obviously but uh, i'm still learning but if you're interested in making uh gears sprockets stuff like that uh go ahead and check him out and i've got the link below to two videos that i found very useful one for um making a uh, making a pulley and the other one for making gears because i'm not going to about to Try to describe that to you. His videos do a much better job. But I will show you how I learned how to make a circle based off of his design or variation of it. Um, and we'll do that next. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do this with a piece of poplar. Uh, poplar scrap. We're going to use this piece of oak as our straight edge. Now start off with a compass here. So we're just going to try to make a circle for the full side of this but it really doesn't matter because the way this is done it doesn't you don't have to measure out your uh, radius as perfectly as you do say on some other pieces circle now into the vise. Now what we're trying to do here, this is your circle, but we need to get rid of the waste. And so the way this works, using your straight edge, we're going to be getting rid of the most amount of stuff as possible at a time. So this is sort of like the coping saw technique, but you're actually getting rid of more waste faster. That's kind of the way I see it. So, we'll use a generic rip saw horizontally. So, you can see circle was and how much we took off 
and so you just work your way around you really want to get a little closer to the line than I did that first time. There we go. And you continue working your way around the block, around the circle. There we go. Now the difference between doing this horizontally as opposed to vertically is to do it vertically, at least on my bench, I would have to clamp it down with one of these. And that's fine maybe for a large piece, but if I'm working with a circle coming out of this piece, ain't happening. And this is the size I would be using in a puzzle box. So that's why this uh, horizontal way is, works much better. Using this flat piece allows you to lay your, board, your saw. I'm using a back saw, but you can use probably a, a lot of other saws, even... Um, uh, not a bandsaw, but that thing over there, there, this thing, a hacksaw. You could use a hacksaw blade. Anything flat. Now, that takes that off. If this is an important piece, you're going to want to have a backing piece as well, so you don't take off more than you want. There's always a little bit you can be working on. see where it's starting to round up a little more and uh, so as you get down to some of these really small areas probably the best thing to do is to get a file get a file out and just start, um, start working that with the file maybe some sandpaper especially if you're going to drop it on the floor a bunch of times normally this is where that other vice comes in handy that I used last time The difference between what I'm doing now and what I did before is that I'm cutting them horizontally, therefore getting a better saw on each of the uh, angles, whereas before I was using a coping saw, getting a little bit and improvising the rest with the file. Just work on smoothing that down. Now, a piece like this, rasp would work better, but uh, it's... An, easier way to take less material off than to use a saw and take too much off that's always of course the issue and of course if you have a band saw then you know definitely use that for this type of procedure but a lot of us don't and so this is another way of doing it so in the end we will take something like this and turn it into looking something like this a circle that you can actually put ends on to make a gear to maybe interact with another piece and uh, get some movement and so again all experimental uh, did this two or three days ago did this yesterday and uh, still learning and that's the fun part about hobby woodworking <laughs>